Hello and welcome to chapter three. In this chapter, we're focusing in on mesh modeling, and this includes everything from adding and removing objects, working with the actual mesh tools, understanding the 3D cursor, and so on. So first, let's look at adding and removing objects. Adding and removing objects is very simple, as I'm sure you would assume. Uh, first, to remove objects, it's simply based on the selection as expected. So if we wanted to delete the cube, we simply use our select mouse, either the right mouse button by default or the left mouse button if you've changed it. And so just right click or uh, select click to select the object. And then to delete it, you can either use your delete key to delete or using the left hand, you can use the X key to delete. The other way is to simply right click from the outliner on the object that you wish to then delete it. And you can also find delete in the toolbar right here. Now delete is context sensitive such that while in object mode, which is where we're at right now, and we're gonna look at the different modes here in just a moment, but in object mode, we simply have the delete option. So we just hit either the delete key or X if we wanna use the keyboard shortcuts and choose delete. Now, if we wanna add objects, we can do it one of two ways. First is from the header up here in the add menu, and we have mesh, curve, surface, armatures, or skeletons, uh, cameras, lights, etc. all the different objects you would expect. So if we simply were to choose mesh and UV sphere, it will add the new UV sphere to the scene. And in the case this object is configurable, such as the number of rings or segments and size of our object, you'll find them down here in the bottom of the toolbar in what's called the operator panel. And so in the operator panel here, immediately after adding this, not any time after. So if you were to do anything else, although you can rotate around the view, but if you were to do anything that were to save settings, such as a transformation, a selection, or anything like that, these settings would no longer be available. So you wanna change these right after you add the object, but you can then just increase the number of rings or segments, you can increase the size, you can align it to the current view, you can set the location, the rotation, or you can just reset all these values to their default uh, from the operator panel. You can also access this operator panel by pressing F6 over the viewport to bring these up uh, in the case that this panel is not shown. Uh, one thing that I've neglected to mention beforehand is that you can toggle this panel down by hitting T will hide the panel. T again will bring it up or you can also press the little plus right here to bring it up. You can also hide it by hovering over with the double sided arrow, left click and dragging all the way over either way. So with the operator panel, you can access it from F6 to adjust any one of these settings. And you'll find these settings are also available uh, for many different tools. So this operator is not just for adding and removing objects, but so that's adding and deleting. So again, it's just uh, using either the add menu or from the viewport, if you hit shift A, you can bring up the add menu uh, in a floating menu. And so this is the quickest way to do it to then add any other object that you wish. This add menu, when you press Shift A, is context sensitive. So right now, since I'm in what's called object mode, and again, I'll explain this more later, I can add any kind of object that I wish. But if I were in edit mode, which we're gonna talk about in just a moment, then I would only be able to add the type of objects of that edit, of the object that I was currently editing. So that's adding and removing objects. Let's now look at how to use the 3D cursor.